welcome to another Pixlr tutorial and this tutorial is going to look at the clone stamp tool and there it is there in the toolbar and the clone stamp tool is used to make a pixel by pixel copy of parts of an image so you could duplicate the flowers and copy them pixel by pixel over to the other side of the, the picture and it could also be used to delete unwanted parts of a picture so in this picture I'm going to copy the two flowers onto the right hand side of the image. So select the clone stamp tool and actually before I do that I'm going to duplicate the layer. So if there are any mistakes made by cloning too much outside the image I could erase it with the eraser tool. So select the brush size first of all. The clone stamp tool has been selected. Up in the top I'm going to use one of the feathered brushes so it gives it a, a softer edge and size 50. I don't want it too large because I'm going to copy a picture that has no defined edges. I really don't want to go outside those edges too much. Hold the control key and the left mouse button down and start at the edge of the picture. So it turns into like a target. So I'm just going to start the clone from here and then move to where I want that picture to go. Hold the left mouse button down and you can see over on the left there that's the part of the picture that's going to copy and start to move it around. Can't let go. So I'm still holding down the picture and I'm also looking along the left. So I can see where the picture is being cloned from. So the edges first, then colour it in. Still holding down the left mouse button, haven't let it go. Then follow the stalk down and come up the other side for that stalk. Where I think I've gone outside the edge, I could use the erase tool just to erase those parts that I've copied that shouldn't be there. So some of that blue, for example, if I hold the erase tool, will delete those without going too close to the edge. Because if I go too close to the edge, I'm going to then copy, I'm going to erase what I've just copied. Because the erase tool is uh, copying, it's erasing the top layer, the background copy, and revealing the background layer. Save that image. Is it JPEG? Let's clone another image. So open a new image. And in this image, I want to clone the cat and then use the clone, to, uh, clone stamp tool to delete the leaves and make the grass look like this area here, even deleting the background garden. So first step is duplicate the layer and then select the clone stamp tool, a brush size, and I'm staying with size 50 of a soft edge brush. Hold the control key, the left mouse button, and select part of the image. We're going to start with the top left. And then holding the left mouse button down, start to draw in the picture and don't let go of the left mouse button. So I'll do the outline first, but don't let go as you colour it in. Just keeping an eye also on the left hand side so you can see what part of the image is being cloned and then you can let go. Now you can also use the clone stamp tool to delete parts of the image that you don't want there. So these leaves, for example, could remove those and just have it plain grass. So the clone stamp tool, we make the brush a bit smaller. And holding the control key, this is the a good part of the grass here. And I want to delete. So holding the left mouse button, deleting some of those imperfections. Just keeping an eye on where the original directional, the original target is. It's sort of right over on the left.
So we've got one leaf. Let's try that again. Hold control. Select some grass. And keeping an eye on that top one so I don't go into the cat. Because then it would start to take on some of those qualities. It's, it's going to take a while to do. So I have to keep on selecting a good bit of grass. The control key down. And then with the left mouse button down, go over that section. And anything where you start to see, so for example here it's starting to show the shadow. Select with the control key a, a good bit of grass, clone that and then run over it so you can remove that part. And where it starts to take on some shadows that you didn't want, so it's this part here, is this part of the image here. So you can either undo it by, in the history, clicking it, to go back a couple of steps or we could have used because we've duplicated the layer the eraser tool and rub out that bit that way because it's going to bring through the original layer. Select the clone stamp tool, the control key, select a bit of grass and start to remove it up here. So as it becomes more difficult to find areas you can reduce the size of the brush because I want to get in between those cats. So I need to make that a bit smaller, that brush. This is the area I want, so hold the control key down and this is the leaf I want to delete. And I need to stop and clone again. So let's pause there while I go back and finish that. So this is the finished image. It's been cloned, an extra cat there, and with the clone tool I've taken out the leaves and the grass at the background. So here's the original on the right, and here's the edited version on the left. And then what I probably would do is create a new image, just crop away some of that grass, so use the marquee tool to select it and create a new image from that. So go into File, New Image, create an image from the clipboard and call it Two Cats. OK. So I can then delete the one behind it because I don't want to keep that. And I now have a new image, it's a bit smaller, just has the grass. Uh, what I really should have done is go in a little bit closer to the edge there, so I haven't you know, done an extraordinarily good job. Let's save that one. Those two cats cropped as a JPEG. So with the clone stamp tool to recap, you can use it to delete unwanted portions of an image. So delete imperfections, I deleted the leaves and the, and the rock garden. And you can also use it to clone parts of an image, like a rubber stamp of part of an image. That's all for now.